All right, everybody, how's it going? Uh, yeah, so a couple years ago, a close family friend um, gave me his uh, Sunbird ski boat. And the only problem with it is that um, he had stored it over the winter and apparently there was a little bit of water uh, residual in the motor. And of course it cracked and broke a rather large hole in the side of the motor in the water jacket. And so he had disassembled um, kind of the front part of the motor, uh, the, some of the like um, belts and things, just to get to the hole itself and to discover that it was, it seemed to be irreplaceable and probably needed a new motor. So um, anyway, he just didn't have time to deal with it or whatever, and so he just gave the boat to me. So I've had it in storage for two years and I've been contemplating how to fix this motor without actually pulling the motor out and replacing it and uh, did some research on Google and YouTube and I was kind of discouraged at first, not, uh, not a lot of success stories out there. Most people felt that you really should uh, just replace the motor. However, I discovered a uh, product um, out of England called Belzona and it had definitely a little more um, presence on the commercial market, especially with offshore oil rigs and things for re uh, repairing uh, holes and, and just they just had a huge product line. Um, and it was uh, con considerably expensive to buy this stuff, but uh, I kind of put that in the back of my mind and kept researching and just kind of thinking about how to replace the hole. And uh, finally, I found a distributor of Belzona here in Everett, Washington, and talked to the owner. And uh, he definitely had the confidence that this product would uh, patch my engine hole. And he said, as long as you uh, prepped it correctly and, and did the job right, it would it would hold forever. And uh, so I uh, dropped the money to buy the the Belzona and. Um, and also, was, I, I must say that they had so many different products with the, uh, for different things that it was good to talk to the distributor to find out you know, which one would exactly do the job I needed it to do. So anyway, here's my uh, Sunbird. And I'll show you guys the hole next and what we're doing. Now here's my uh, Cobra 4.3. And got all the major stuff pulled off of it. And if you look under here, you can see. Maybe not. A hole. That would be this guy here. That's right in the water jacket of the engine. And uh, yeah. So what I've just done is uh, sanded and kind of scuffed this this whole area up cleaned it up the best I could here's a uh, a backing plate that I'm gonna put in now and I'm gonna go ahead and use the bell zona to secure it to secure it I have this awful edge right here that I think will be my my weak point with my patch um, so I'm gonna put a backing in it let it dry tonight and tomorrow fill it on top of the backing and then go ahead and put my patch but that's um like here's my hand so you can see it's a pretty good size hole um, but luckily it was on the outside of the engine and I could get to it okay all right nothing too exciting here I um, just wanted to show you guys here I just made the patch for my boat motor um, just used kind of a thicker patching sheet metal that I got at the hardware store. Uh, there's the original there. And just cut it out using a, uh, kind of a metal hand saw here. And uh, also created a uh, kind of a backing strip to go inside the, the hole. I'm not sure I actually need this, but I'm just um, putting it in just to, just in case to make, make it a, well you'll see, uh, to make it a a little more rigid and then you can also see how I, I took a grinder and just kind of scuffed up the metal so it gave, gave the bell zone something to uh, grab onto so there you go that's my patch okay so there's your 
there's a hole and I put some metal trim pieces in last night glued them in on the inside of the hole and just used the Belzona to glue it and now I have this nice pattern around here here's my my metal patch now in a perfect world you'd be able to stick some uh, stainless steel screws in there and actually I wanted to do that but I cannot I don't actually have the space to get a drill down in here to drill the holes out so um, I think in a perfect world that would be what to do what you should do I'm just gonna go for it I'm just gonna I feel like I have enough space here around the hole for the Belzona to take take hold so I'm just gonna go for it I'm gonna smear it around here boom 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 put it on the patch itself same thing put it on and then of course go around the outside with the Belzona so alrighty we'll see you in a bit okay so the product that I'm using is Belzona um, 1111 and you have the big tub which is the base and the little tub which is the solidifier and roughly it's kind of a three parts to one part mix so kind of what you see here you know this much versus this much is, is how you mix it even if you do it in small quantities so um, I was surprised <laughs> open it up and it's like wow well, that's there it is right there that's about as much as you get I used a little bit last night to um, to do kind of the part one on the motor. So and there's the. So let's let's go ahead and mix up a batch. It's, it's quite easy to mix, and especially with the little tools and everything. So this will be kind of a bigger batch. I'm definitely doing more right now. This will be the amount to, to put the, the patch on. So if I need to make more, of course I can. It's pretty easy, it mixes very, very quickly. So I'll start with that much. At the base. I'm going to use the, this little guy to scoop out the solidifier so it doesn't mix up side. So about a three to one mix. That's a little bit more. Looks like about a three to one for me right there. And pretty simple. You just start mixing it together. Gelling it together. Uh, depending on the temperature outside um, you know, as, as far as how long you have to work with it, changes. But roughly, you got about 15 to 20 minutes to do what you need to do before it starts to get a little too solid. Again, you could always make more. Just mix it together. There you have it. Now I'm ready to, uh, to put the patch on the motor. Okay, uh, it took about 10 minutes to put the patch on. And uh, there you have it. It's completely sealed. I have, uh, it looks a little rough. They say what you can do is, you know, wait like 20 minutes or 25 minutes and come out like with a sponge and water and just kind of rinse it and that'll make it a smooth finish. Um, probably what I'm going to do is let this dry up tonight and then put, and, and I'll smooth it out and everything and then put one final light coating over everything tomorrow along the out edges, so just another smaller coat. But um, yeah, I applied it on the engine block real thick, squished it in all, all the cracks and crevices. Um, and then on the back side of the plate, I just covered it in, especially along the edges, smushed it in there, pushed it down nice and hard, and then went over the top of all the edges. I see I'm kind of poking out a little bit right here, so I might do a little bit more right there. But, uh, yep, there it is, the patch. I'll show you guys the final product next.